Well, pollution legal liability, we're seeing more and more um, requirements. Uh, um, you know, there's contractual requirements that are, are one of the key drivers uh, for pollution legal liability. And we're seeing more and more in the master services agreements that are required you know, between energy companies and, and owner operators, um, contractors, they're not only looking for protection for sudden and accidental events, um, catastrophic ruptures and things of that nature, but they're driving more uh, the need for coverage for seepage issues, you know, underground leaks, um, leaks from um, corroded pipelines, uh, gathering lines, you know, tank batteries, things of that nature. Um, and as a result, um, you know, the, the requirement is there because losses now are starting to creep up and losses that aren't particularly covered under an energy general liability policy. The energy GL policy that are provided by some of the key carriers in this industry provide coverage for pollution. However, it's limited to sudden and accidental releases. Um, it's, it's limited to above ground. There's no real underground coverage uh, for environmental. Um, and, you know, again, the losses are starting to crop up on the gradual side. So pollution legal liability is one of the, is one of the tools to uh, fill that gap uh, in coverage. In addition, uh, the claims that we are seeing in the environmental arena on the gradual side that aren't necessarily covered under the energy GL markets are every single claim we see are north of seven figures. You know, they're seven figure claims. Uh, it's not a fifty or a hundred thousand dollar claim. It's a million, a million five, two million and up uh, on the gradual side because again, it's not just about cleanup. It's about third party liability, bodily injury, property damage, and the defense expenses that go in to defending those types of claims. You know, you have um, third parties that are alleging you've impacted my property values. Um, I'm sick because I've inhaled, you know, fumes and vapors and there's been a release. So now all of a sudden, instead of one claimant, you could have, you know, dozens, 50, 100, and then that multiplies on itself. And it could be a result from a gradual release. From a requirement standpoint, um, lenders, um, private equity that that was investing, you know, before the uh, barrel, you know, before the price of oil dropped significantly per barrel, um, they, you know, are they were entering that energy space. Uh, and they were used to investing in other industries, so they brought along, you know, that experience about gradual pollution that it's important, and they want to protect their investment. Um, so they were looking at, you know, again the standard energy GL forms and saying, look, there is some coverage, but there's that gap. So I think I think it's a combination of factors as far as what's driving losses. Um, you know, I, I think it, 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 in terminology the. The, the energy markets, I believe, the, the, um, their, their coverage has been restricted a little more. And, you know, they're, they're specifically saying, we're not going to cover these gradual, you know, pollution issues. And the definition of a gradual pollution event, I think, is, is growing, is, is getting broader. Uh, so from those, those are the two reasons that I see that are driving the increase um, of what we're seeing are, are gradual claims. And it's, it's a, I want to put a kind of a postscript on it, you know, working in, in our niche uh, in the marketplace, the carriers, the environmental pollution markets that are providing this coverage um, are, ex, you know, really scrutinizing their underwriting. Um, one or two markets have pulled out of the E&P side, uh, the exploration and production side because of losses. So losses are going up and as a result, you know, underwriting scrutiny is increased as well. So that just tells me it reinforces the need for this coverage. You know, if there were no losses, you know, everybody would be like, well, then, you know, I can just rely on my energy form and they're just gonna pick up whatever. But we're seeing losses in that arena.